My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the question is always asked, why do people suffer? And why does God allow good people to suffer? The first answer is, suffering is a mystery. Pain is a mystery. For as long as we are living here on earth, we will not be able to completely understand the meaning of pain, the meaning of suffering. But what does suffering teach us about ourselves? The first lesson of suffering is, suffering teaches us that I am helpless. I am nothing. You may be rich, you may be powerful, you may be very intelligent, and yet you still suffer. So in our helplessness, because we are suffering, in our helplessness, because we are sick, in our helplessness, because we do not understand why this epidemic keeps on spreading, we can fall into despair, we can fall into discouragement, but we can also make this opportunity for deepening our humility, our calling upon the Lord and recognizing that I need somebody stronger than me. I need somebody higher than me. I need somebody more powerful than me. Suffering and pain is a mystery, but suffering and pain can be very good teachers. Suffering teaches us, I am nothing. But the second meaning of suffering is, suffering teaches us that because of it, I become like Jesus. I am Jesus. With our sufferings here on earth, we become more and more like Jesus. We unite ourselves with the sufferings of the Lord for humanity, for the forgiveness of sins. Suffering makes us like Jesus. It forms us more and more into like Christ. We have often heard it said, gold is tested by fire. So it is with us. We become more and more godly. We become more and more spiritual. We become closer and closer to our goal to be saints by suffering. The pain that cannot kill you can only make you better. So the first lesson is, I am nothing. The second lesson is, I am Jesus. But the third lesson about suffering is, I am with Jesus. The Lord did not come to take away our suffering. The Lord did not promise us, because you believe in me, there will be no more sickness, there will be no more pandemics, there will be no more epidemics. No. The Lord simply assures us, I am with you. The name of God is Emmanuel. God is with us. Our sufferings teach us that God walks among His people, that God has embraced our epidemic, that God has embraced our weaknesses, God has embraced our sicknesses. God is not only with us, in beautiful times. God is also with us in the darkness of the night. And believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, only those who are willing to walk to the dark night will be able to see the beauty of the stars. God is there in the darkness. Look at the skies. See the moon guiding us. See the stars guiding us. Those are signs that God will never abandon us in our difficulties. Suffering is a mystery. Suffering is a teacher. It teaches us, I am nothing. It leads us to humility. It leads us to acknowledge our helplessness, our need for God. People need the Lord. This is not the time to deny Him. This is not the time to attack Him. This is the time to cling to Him and ask Him, Lord, we are perishing. Help us. Lord, we are sinking. Help us. Lord, we are in pain. 
help us. The second lesson of suffering is suffering makes us more and more like Jesus. United with the sufferings of Christ, we share in the passion of the Lord for the salvation of the world. Lastly, suffering teaches us, I am with Jesus. There is nothing that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Why do people suffer? I don't know. I only know that in the midst of our suffering, God is with us and God will never leave the people who call upon His name. Suffering, pain, these are mysteries. But there is a mystery greater than pain. There is a mystery greater than suffering. It is the mystery of love. It is the mystery of God's love for all of us. It is the mystery of God Himself. God is stronger than all sufferings. And love is stronger than all pains. God bless you.